Hey boys, it's Scotty Scooter here. I'm just starting up a new YouTube channel, so I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna be doing some uh, NHL 15 GM commentaries. And as you can see, I started off with the uh, Nashville Predators. I looked through the roster and the first things I saw was all the centers they had. They have Fisher, Ribeiro, Smith. They have a bunch of good centers seven really good centers but then I looked at the wings and all they have is like James Neal and like I don't know they have like no one so that'll be something we need to improve on but the defense looks really good they got Weber who's the only franchise defenseman in the whole game so he'll be a good person to hold on to for a long time there's also some good defensive prospects. They got uh, Yossi and uh, Ryan Ellis and Seth Jones. Well, I guess Weber's not that old either. He's 29, so I guess we really got some good defensemen for the future, even though they're all right-handed. I'm a big righty lefty guy, so I'll try to get some lefties in here. And yeah, our goalies, we got Rene, so he'll be good for the next couple years. But if, if I see we're doing bad this year or in the next couple years, I might want to trade him away and get someone younger because I don't want his trade value to just go out on us and then get nothing for him. Now I went and just edited the lines because I don't want to be trading away all these players without seeing how they do first on our team. I like Smith. He'll be on the second line. Wilson will also be on the second line. I gotta put some of the centers on the wing because we have so many centers. I'm putting Ribeiro on the second line over like Gostad and Jokinen because Ribeiro in the other games has got so many assists because his puck skills are so good. So yeah, I'll throw Jokinen on the fourth line and see how he does there. Maybe he could be a trade asset because we also have Derek. Roy scratched for us. Gabriel Bork we could also get rid of too. He's a left wing playing on the right wing, third line. I don't know, we have too many two way forwards like that. We can get rid of him. Defense looks good. Um, yeah, I skipped it over here because it's all the lines that no one really cares about. It's just power play and stuff. It's pretty much the same as my normal lines, so. I guess I'll just have him scratched right now. Maybe trade him later. He doesn't really help at all since we have injuries off for the regular season. We have some prospects here. I'm just gonna drop him down to the minors because I ran a couple of test seasons and if you don't play the players how they're supposed to be played, like a minor scoring center or whatever, then they won't their potentials get messed up or they won't get good or something. So I'm gonna drop them down to the minors. All the captains and assistant captains look good. All we really have is Weber and Neil. So, I guess they'll have to just lead the team. I went ahead here and just started scouting. First stop was OHL forwards. Obviously, Connor McDavid's there. Maybe we get him if we have a shitty year. I don't know. That'd be good. Get a franchise center right away. But I don't know. I don't want to throw the season just to get them. The only way I'm going to trade up to the first overall pick is if we're a bottom 10 team. Because otherwise, if we're, if we're like close to making playoffs or we are in the playoffs, then I don't think it's fair to just go and snag up Connor McDavid. Another guy I was looking at there was uh, Blake Clark, I think his name is, yeah. In the other games I played, like 2014, he was really good. 
doesn't. Yeah, he seems like a player that we could use for sure. We could use almost anything. I went and looked at some of the goalies here because Rene is 31. And we're going to need a trade for someone this year or draft someone that could be ready in a couple years because I don't want to just have like a shitty like goalie like Calgary has right now and Kiprasov retired. Actually, no, they have Hiller right now, but once Kiprasov retired, then they had shitty goalies. I'm just going in my trade block right now and setting what I want. I want to get rid of some of my older players, like if they're above 30, I'm fine with getting rid of them because they're going to start getting worse and just retiring and stuff. And I want players that are just about to reach their prime or a little bit younger and have room to grow. Yeah, so like I said before, I want to get some younger guys, maybe like three and a half star or a four star, or I guess now it's different. They changed all their potential systems in PS4 version now. It's not stars anymore. Some players that I want are some more skilled players and like like being able to shoot and stuff because right now all we really have is two way forwards and power forwards and that's good but you need some more skill and stuff. Another thing I think we need is elite players because right now we just have a bunch of like third line maybe second line players and I'd like to get some prospects that could build their way up to first line or maybe just top six, like second line. Also want to get some more draft picks this year. I think it's supposed to be a really deep draft. Uh, just like the 2003 draft or whichever year it was, they had a really deep draft and like all the first round picks were really close to the same skill level. Oh wait, I need to put uh, Derek Roy on the trade block because we have so many centers and he's not even playing. So him and Jokinen could probably go because they're just getting wasted away. Alright, I think we're ready to start the season. We have our line set. We have what we need, pretty much. We pretty much know what we need now. So, we'll start her off right now. Holy, already a trade off for a second round and a player for their second round? No way. I'm gonna wait to see how we do. Okay, yeah, here, Alfredson. I offered him a contract before I started just looking at the free agents not thinking so good thing he rejected because didn't get that on film I saw this trade Zykov for Roy and a pick Zykov was good he's in the other game he was good at least I don't know about now uh, no I wouldn't go for him he's top nine forward I wouldn't give up that trading asset for a top nine 
rather save them for maybe like a different prospect or just a pick, I don't know. Not Zykov though. picks right now yeah I would do that maybe a trade deadline if we're doing terrible but right now I'll just hold off because season just starting I don't want to throw everything away great got our first win against Calgary one of the only teams that are probably worse than us Calgary actually I shouldn't say that we're not that bad we have some good players With all these shootout and overtime losses, like dang, one, one, and three. Oh, there we go. No, don't need a seventh defenseman. Okay, here's something that I would think about. Throw her in a third round for Roy Nystrom. It seems like it'd be a good deal. Uh, I just want to take a look at their defense for prospects and see if Thrower is the one I would like to get. So let's take a look at him. He's 69 overall. He's 5'11", which isn't very good. He's right-handed. We already have a lot of right-handed guys. I wouldn't look at him, but... Tenardi, he's a huge guy, 6'6", six, six, really defensive, ready to go. He would be someone I would like to get in the future. I don't know about right now, but maybe at trade deadline or if we start doing bad, maybe I'd like to get him. But I don't know. Say something in the comments if you'd like to see me get him or a different defensive prospect or something. But right now, I'll just, I'll just stick with my team, see how it goes. No, nah, no, nah. I don't want to get a pick for Roy right now. Three, two, and three. Okay, not bad. Roy for his third in this guy. Uh, no, this guy, I don't think he's that good. No. No, I don't want to do this right now. I should edit my trade block and say I don't want second and thirds right now. Just want firsts. Maybe to get McDavid. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Where is it? Just first for now. That should be good. Okay, so I reached my time limit, but um, on the second, we would receive a trade offer from Vancouver, sending Ole Jokinen to them in exchange for Cameron Gaunts, I would take that. He's a prospect with uh, potential to be a top six forward. And I did look at the, all the other prospects, but Gaunts is the only one that they would want to give up. So I just took him because he's really good and we could definitely use him in the future. All right, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back next time.